W and today I am going to do an unboxing video of the Polaroid Go. Um, I'm really excited about this camera. I was wanting it really badly and um, I ordered it but the film is on back order so I won't receive that until later this month so I can't do any kind of you know, demonstrations of using the film right now, not until I get it. But I could not wait because I wanted to do this unboxing video and just show you me unboxing it. Um, first thoughts, I have not opened this yet at all. You can still see it's sealed up right here. Um, the box is so small, like look, look at my hands compared to this box, like look at that. It's so small. And then like, just right off the bat, you know, here's my Polaroid now. And like, look at this box. Like, wow. Like, look at that. It's so crazy. Like, I haven't even opened it yet and I'm just like amazed at how small it is. Um, I have been using my Instax Mini 40. I've taken several pictures with it. So far, I'm really liking it. I'm gonna do a separate video on this one too, though a full review on it. But so far, I am liking it. Um, all right, let's get to this unboxing. I'm just going to use an ink pen and poke a hole here on the sides. Like I said, no film yet, so I unfortunately can't put film in it yet because it is on back order. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. It is so small. Oh my gosh, that is so small. Oh wow. Like I thought when I first looked at this box, okay, you know, it's probably going to be a little bit smaller than the box. But it is like, it's got stuff on the sides here. Like, wow. Wow. Okay. Let me pull this out first. A little um, wrist strap. And then... We have the USB, um, micro USB charging cable. A lot of people have been kind of saying, oh, it should be a USB-C, blah, blah. I mean, I don't really care about that. Um, I have one USB-C that I use for my iPad Air, and that's it. That's all that I have. Um, my iPhone 12 uses a lightning cable, um, but a lightning to USB-C cable, and then my iPad uses USB-C. So I have several micro USB cables, so I'm okay with it being a micro USB cable. Um, all right, what's in here? These are the stickers. I've seen these in other people's videos. So that's really cool. I really like these stickers. I like any kind of camera stickers. I like to journal and stuff and put my photos in there. So, this is really nice. I really like this. Um, this here looks like the quick start guide. Kind of showing you what to do and everything. What else is here? This looks like just kind of uh, safety information, battery and charger information, in all different kind of languages. And that looks like it's it, so let's pull out this really tiny camera. Oh my gosh, it's so little. Oh my god, I can't get over this. I'm sorry, you're going to hear me react a lot because I've seen videos of this thing, like people unboxing it and stuff, but I, I can't get over this. Like this, this is amazingly small, like oh my gosh, wow, so tiny. Like this is the palm of my hand like <laughs> wow it makes my hands like look huge which I do have long fingers but oh my gosh like this is so small so small like you'd have to like I'd have to take a picture like this you know but like look at that this is how small this camera is like wow so small sorry I was holding it but oh my gosh all right let's get the tape out of tape off this 
Yeah, it's like a mini Polaroid now. Um, it really is like a mini Polaroid now. This has everything that the Polaroid now has. It has the double exposure. It has a self timer. Um, you know, you can turn the flash on and off. So yes, this does everything that the Polaroid now does. And it's just a mini version of it, <laughs> like miniature version of it. Um, let's just compare. Like, oh my gosh. Like, look how small this is. Oh my gosh, it's so small. Like, look at that. You have the rainbow going up at the top. Um, instead of the shutter button being on the side right there, it's on the top. Um, you have the flash button on the top, whereas on the Polaroid now, uh, the flash button is on the back side right here by the uh, power button. And then you have your digital film counter right there where you can put a strap. So on this, you have where you can put your little wrist strap. And then your charging, which this is the same on this. It's on the side right here on the now. Um, the now has that eject button where like this, I believe still has film in it. So I'm not gonna do that. But like this here has that button where you can eject and then like you can pull the film out. This here just has this button right here. Reminds me of like an Instax Mini with the back of it and then it has that yellow right there too just like an Instax Mini would when you put the film cartridge in the yellow lines up. Um, you can see the mirror in there. Yeah. Very nice. I didn't put any film in so you seen that green light it didn't recognize any film. Um, the viewfinder although small when you look through it it is pretty good size. It's a good size. It's not too bad when you look through it. It's a really good size. Um, again, you can turn the flash on and off. The, sh the uh, shutter button is on top. Um, then you have the power button here. And then this, uh, there should be a light right here too that allows you to see when the flash is on and flashes off. Um, I think this flash button also controls the double exposure, maybe? I think so. Let me just take a look. I'm pretty sure that it does. Yeah, flash, self timer, and double exposure button. So, pretty sure you click it once and that turns the flash off. Uh, like the Polaroid now, once you turn that flash off, it will come right back on, so you're going to have to turn it off every picture. So, and then you click it twice, that's the double exposure mode. So, you will see like a 1 come up here, and then you take your first picture, and then it will say a 2. Take your second picture, and then it will come out. And then click it and hold it down, that enables your self-timer mode which you have some long and then it'll take a picture. So that might be good for like selfies, you know, hit that, push that, and then, you know, allow it to take a selfie of you. Um, it's really small. Like this is so small. Like it would be perfect for a bag to put in a bag. But the only thing with it, like I'd have to have some type of a little case for it because uh, what worries me about putting this just in a bag or anything like I don't want this to get scratched up don't want the flash to get scratched up you know so that would kind of be a little worrisome for me but this is so tiny like so tiny like, so little <laughs> I can't believe it how small this is um yeah, I just can't believe it the box if you look at the box here um, it kind of tells you on there all what it does. 
says a 15 pack battery life rechargeable battery that lasts up to 15 film packs so that's not too bad and then this photo here I believe is the actual size of the photo that you would get like that would come out of this camera I believe that's the actual size photo so and then if you look like at an Instax mini photo like yeah so I don't know I don't know if that would be the same or not I've heard it comes up to about like right here or something so yeah. I don't know we'll see like I said I couldn't get any film for it because it was on back order so can't wait to get the film I really wanted to take this on vacation but my film that I ordered I ordered two packs it is on back order and I won't get it till um, I don't know it's not gonna ship out till like May 23rd or 24th so I'm leaving on vacation May 30th so yeah I don't know if I'll get that film in time or not but look at it oh my gosh it's so cute I can't get over this camera I love how little it is I'm gonna have to buy a case for it or something too just because like I said I wouldn't want to throw it in a bag because I don't want any of this to get scratched up. But yeah, that is so cute and adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. I can't wait to take photos with it. I would literally take that thing everywhere because I love my Polaroid now. And like this being a mini version of it is so cute. And it's just great. Like I would want to pack it everywhere. And then you can see on the Polaroid Now too, while I'm staring at it, and I notice the self timer button for the Polaroid Now is right here. So you have like three individual, you know, like buttons on this for the Polaroid Now to do what you want it to do. Um, well, kind of three, I guess. You have like the power button, the flash button, and then you have, you know, your shutter button and the self timer button. Whereas on here, you have the flash button that does all those, turns off the flash, um, does the double exposure and self timer, and then the shutter button, and then you have the power button. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, that's all I can show you today because like I said, I don't have any film. <laughs> but it's so adorable. I love it. I, I really, really love this take a look at that that's awesome all right I will see you next time I will put some film in this and we'll see what we get have a great day thanks for watching